How y'all doing? We're back. We're at 993 miles. And we gotta make a video. Let's put the mask down. That way it sounds maybe a little bit better. What are you doing in my lane, bro? Do not enter. Do not enter. Bad, bad. <laughs> uh, I really don't care. I thought about doing that yesterday, actually. Because it sucks. You gotta come all the way down here to this. But they get two turns. Like going that way, going north, you get two turnarounds. But going south, you literally gotta go all the way to the turnaround and turn around which isn't a bad thing but it kind of sucks like bro what do you mean but uh, yeah man we're about to hit a thousand miles we're vibing just wanted to go on a little ride today finally take i finally got some time where the baby's not at home with me while i'm working so like on lunch i can enjoy myself which is cool because it's been a rough three months now I think of the baby being home and me working with the baby being home and like obviously continuing to do YouTube and all that other stuff bad line very bad line it went far out far out that time not leaning very good a little bit hugging the yellow but I feel like that was a little bit more planted I don't know I haven't been riding a lot lately I put my gloves on yo can't get mad at me now haha <laughs> i'm still not wearing a jacket though <laughs> dude i don't know i i get the reason why you want to wear gloves but at the same time like realistically if i smash my bike i don't think having gloves on is my worry i don't know i think I, maybe i'm just ignorant but like i've like i've ridden bikes my whole life like i've ridden bmx bikes i've ridden dirt bikes i've had mini bikes and go-karts and motored engines and all that good stuff i watched somebody pass somebody right here earlier and i really thought i really thought they smashed they may have smashed right there i don't really know it looks like there's a bunch of debris like glass and stuff but dude i watched somebody as yeah, this morning i watched somebody side by side they were racing it out i was like oh dude i did that before bro that's reckless driving dog you're gonna get in trouble misdemeanor don't do it D bad shift but yeah man i don't know it's been uh, it's been an interesting day today it's been an interesting few weeks we've been chilling um, my oldest kid started school, so that was pretty crazy. It's been a, it's been a, been an interesting time. My car is dying, so I need to fix my car. But my wife's car is also dying. Yeah, I don't know. Everything's just falling apart right now. It's kind of, it's kind of hard out here for a G, but. We're making it happen the best we can, you know? Like, that's the thing about life. You kind of just got to push through it. And I was talking to my homie the other day, and I was like, bro, why does it seem like life is such a repetitive cycle? Like, we're literally just looping on an unknown substance that I can't say because YouTube will get mad. And, uh, we just keep going through the same thing over and over again. Like, no matter what I change, I feel like I end up in, like, a similar spot, like, Broken car shit, breaking house, something broke in the house, or, you know, it's that same cycle. Like, and but my point that I was making is like, it just like, it gets easier because like you've been in the cycle so many times that you're like, uh, it's okay, it'll pass. We've done here, or we've done this before, we've been here before, like, things get easier. But I don't know if that's like necessarily always true, man. Like, it's easier. But it's not because like the older you get, the more the more uh, costly a lot of these things become, and um, you know all that good stuff. They're about to have a green light to turn right, so we're just gonna go or to turn left. So we're just gonna go. But uh, you know what I mean? Like the, you just you acquire more things that require more cost and uh sometimes it's hard to offset that and adjust and um go from being like overly consumer based to being like all right i need to be a little strategic with my money like 
I bought this and then like I bought a bunch of other random bullshit and uh, like I mean it's good because it's helped me out in the long run and it's got me to a point where I need to be but like now I need to constantly I feel like think about where I'm spending money on things because I want to like I want to upgrade this and do this project and like get things for this but like it's an $8,000 bike and it's like I can't really justify that and it's like I want to make more YouTube content but I need parts for the mini bike to finish the mini bike videos and like the go-karts kind of finished now at this point so until I have money to do the things that I want to do to upgrade that you know it's like we're not moving forward there because it's like constantly like where do I want to place my money and realistically right now it sucks because like I have all this content that I want to make and that I said I was gonna make but we can't make it because I don't have the money to make it like I have I don't want to spend the extra money to make it if that makes sense um, because I want to have money to feel secure you know like that's the whole point of life and working and like putting up with some of the bullshit we put up is so that we can feel secure and be in a good spot um i got a gift card coming from work for working some weekend hours and i'm thinking about using that to get the mini bike stuff because i like i said i don't want to spend the hundred dollars on it like i wanted to just buy the forty dollar sprocket and get it running because I don't know, for one, if we get the sprocket and hook this little thing up, is it going to even run? So it's like, it's money on stuff that may or may not work. And I'd rather spend money on things that do need to be fixed and things that do work like this. But at the same time, I want to make content. So I'm in like a dilemma of where to focus my, my funds and my time. You know, it's the, the conundrum of life. I feel like a lot of people have that problem. And I think one of the things that I focus on a little bit too much is the content that I make. Like I'm focused on projects that require money and things that require me to um, spend extra and not save. And I feel like that kind of just puts me at a disadvantage because I don't always want to spend money. Like I'm very, I'm very specific about my money. Like I like having extra money and I like being able to do things in life outside of like YouTube and stuff. Like I want to be able to take my family out to eat. I want to be able to like go to events, go to car meets and go to like the place back there. They have stuff that goes on and it's like that costs money to get in a thousand miles. Let's go. We did it. Shout out the rebel. I love this bike. It's been a great bike. I've already made my video on things that I love and I hate about it, so, I mean, you know that. But, I, I, I love it. I, like, overall, I'd say the bike is, like, a 7.58 out of 10, in my opinion. Um, again, I've never ridden another... Well, that's a lie. At my class, I got to ride like a ninja. So, I've ridden... I rode the Rebel 300, and then I rode a Ninja 300, just to try it out. And... Like, yeah, I like the Ninja and stuff, but... This was more my vibe. I didn't really want to get, like, a 650 or anything like that. I've explained it before. I don't need to really explain it again. And... I felt like even with the 1100, I didn't want to spend... 10 to, like, 13 grand... Probably, it would probably be around twelve to $13,000 after tax and all of that to get an 1100 so I don't know. I love this bike. I'm glad that I got it, and I'm glad that it has enhanced my life for the better, to be honest. It's one of the things that make me feel good. That was a very bad turn. I was not paying attention to what I was doing. But it's one of the things that make me feel good. And uh, I've always loved bikes and riding bikes, so. Yeah, that'll probably do it for the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, share, comment, subscribe. Next week, we'll probably have a video that's kind of like a mashup of like my first 1,000 miles or something. I don't know, something a little longer. 
my favorite moments, all that good stuff. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.